Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday, May 16th. I got my husband and my son. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing back there, but I got him. Uh, I am doing a foundation review. I just put sunglasses on, and but I did warn the foundation review. Uh, I did warn in the foundation review that I would probably have nose marks from my sunglasses because we are heading on the road and I said I wanted to be on the road by 10.30. It's 10.58. As far as I'm concerned, that is good. Only half an hour late. We did take the time to walk the dogs. Buttercup was much more amenable to going to the bathroom than Wednesday was. Wednesday was a little bit more not. Um, having an issue with my phone not giving me the directions that I wanted to give me so that's annoying um, oh somebody got flowers or something a balloon um, anyway um, I did get up actually before my alarm I got up at 7 because John got up at 7 and I got up when he got up um, but then we ended up sitting around chatting for a half an hour, so I ended up not getting in the shower until, well, give me the freaking directions. <laughs> um, I ended up not getting in the shower until after eight o'clock, so that's why I'm a little bit behind. I, but nonetheless, Let's foundation. Let's US 15 South in 1.8 miles. Turn left on East 1st Street. The foundation review was started at nine o'clock. I'm gonna take it off by five and I'm going to wonder why my phone isn't connected to the thing, but I think I have an idea because I think John actually changed the input. Um, did, did you have your phone plugged in last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, John changed the input, so I gotta figure out how to set my input back up. I'll figure it out after I'm done filming. I can't film, drive, and do my input, so there's that. Anyhow, um, but we are going to the winery in Maryland right now. Like I said, it's about 11 o'clock. We're going to the winery in Maryland. And we're probably going to stop at the liquor store. And my only hope is that I don't have to go to the bathroom at all because I don't have a face mask and I don't plan on putting one over top of my makeup. But I might be able to like sneak into the bathroom at a gas station or something if I have to. Um, I'll just cover my face with my shirt or something. I don't know. Maryland, though, is actually opening up already. Uh, they're actually opening up faster than Pennsylvania is because their governor is smarter than mine is. But the good news is, is my governor has determined that we're allowed, my county specifically, is allowed to open up next week. My dad lives in the next county over, and he's not allowed to open up until, well, we don't know yet. They haven't announced his county. And then my sister lives in the next county past my dad. And they told the governor that they're opening up without his approval. So there's that. Anywho, apparently I scared this lady because she was pulled up and she literally backed up, but she was way away from the road. So yeah, there's a police officer up here too. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna just go ahead and put the camera down because, well, there's a police, there's a police officer. officer, but also because I'm driving. So I will see you guys later on today. All right, y'all, it is 12.30. I just did my foundation check-in. I'm a half an hour early. I know that I'm half an hour early, but that's okay. Um, we are at the winery. Um, John is uh, in buying stuff right now. So he's in there like deciding what he wants to buy and everything like that, which is cool. Uh, Nick and I are hanging out in the car. Um, I am about to see if I can figure out where the closest liquor store is um, so that we can stop and get some liquor at the liquor store while we're here. So I don't even know where we're at. Nick, do you know where we're at? We're at the winery. Yeah, but do you know where we're the wineries? Right on our right. I think it's Mount Airy. I think we're in Mount Airy. I can't even spell liquor right now. Like I can't, I, I'm looking at it and like, that's not how you spell liquor. Um, liquor store, lick? Mount Airy, Maryland. I think it's Mount Airy. That okay. might be wrong. We'll see here in a minute. Anyway, 
Um, we had a nice drive. The biggest problem that we ran into is that there were two young men, one in a Ford Mustang and one in a Ford F-150, who decided that they were uh, speeding each other or racing each other or whatever you want to say. I don't know, they were racing each other. The Mustang was in the front. These sunglasses, pretty beat up, but they're light on my face. Anyway, um, the Mustang was in front and the F-150 was behind him and they were messing around. And the Mustang passed me which it was a 50 mile per hour zone, I was going 60. He passed me, but it was a passing zone. The pickup truck decided to pass me on the inside on the shoulder, which was extremely, extremely dangerous. Um, I considered calling the police, but I did not. And then they were in front of me and we're in the middle of nowhere in Maryland. I mean, literally we're in the middle of nowhere. It is, um, we're at a winery, a vineyard. Um, there are farms like you have to drive through tons of farms to get here so we're literally in the middle of nowhere in, in the middle of maryland and um there was a tractor a big tractor and we were stuck behind the big tractor and they were like swerving back and forth on the road messing around yeah, not good get, get um yeah, but overall it's been a nice relaxing drive. I've had a lot of fun. It's currently 1230 So, you know, we got we, we ended up stopping at the visitor center um, When you crossed over into Maryland, there's the welcome to center to, to Maryland And we did stop there and Nick and I went to the restroom Because there was like nobody there. So we didn't need our ma our face masks I don't have one Nick John offered to bring one for Nick Nick's like no, I'm good So he didn't bring one either so uh, we stopped there. We'll probably stop there on the way home as well to get uh, to go to the restroom again um, on the way up. But apparently, I don't have a signal here. That stinks. Um, anyway, but John is in picking out his wine. He tried to order it last night and rejected. The website only gave you, gave, because we're in Pennsylvania, only gave him the option to ship it. Or they did have an option for like local delivery. They didn't have an option for pickup on the website. You would have had to call to order to do a pickup. Um, and he put local delivery, which is supposed to be free within 15 miles. And he put in the comment section, I don't, this is not for local delivery. I will pick up on Saturday. But then when he went to actually check out, it was gonna charge him the shipping fee. So he canceled his order and decided not to put it in. And it's not a big like, it looks big, the big building back there, it looks pretty big, um, but it, the actual like sales area itself is not very large. It's actually probably, it's probably about twice the size of our living room is all the size. It's not, it's not very big. Um, so yeah, but, um, sorry, some lady just looked at me while she was putting her mask on. Um, anyway, it's probably about twice the size, maybe two and a half the si times the size of our living room. Um, I'm probably underestimating. It's not a very large area. Um, probably, mm, it's bigger than twice our living room, now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I haven't been in there in a while. Usually just John runs in and buys stuff. Cause I don't, I don't drink any wine. I don't usually drink wine anyway. It's probably about the size of our first floor of our house. How about that? That's probably a better better size. So probably about 1,500 square feet, maybe 1,800 square feet of space. So yeah, that's, that's a better estimate. And they have like, it looks really big. Like I said, they have like separate little areas where you can have like a reception if you wanna have your wedding here. They have the area where they have the big metal drum things where they're actually like making the wine. So it's all like on, but like the actual sales floor isn't, it's maybe like I said, like 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I gotta get a signal. I don't know if they have Wi-Fi here. I might be able to connect to their Wi-Fi and see if I can figure that out, but I should have looked before I left the house. Nicholas is chilling in the back seat. Right, Nick? Yeah. 
<laughs> all right i will talk to you guys later i'm gonna try to see if they have wi-fi to see if i can figure out where the closest liquor store is and i'll talk to you guys later there is one i mean i know exactly where one is right over the maryland line but my thinking is is they might give us more of a of a, an issue um with because like i there was a big issue with like people from pennsylvania going to west virginia and ohio and maryland to buy liquor because our liquor stores are closed and our liquor stores are quasi open you can call and make an order for pickup at our liquor stores but whether they answer the phone, they're only going to take so many phone calls in a day it's not if they're not really open so anyway i'm going to see if i can find a liquor store that's close to us here we're a little bit further deeper into maryland than the than the um border um and i'm thinking that the border might be a little bit more of a challenge as far as you know causing asking a bunch of questions and stuff than if we're down here in the middle of maryland so all right i'm gonna put you guys down and we'll see you guys later well y'all we went for a walk today that was 2.3 miles right nick mm -hmm. it was like 2.3 miles mm -hmm. it was a good time it was a good time john and nicholas and i walked together um yeah, neil neil came with us but he kind of went off and walked on his own but John, Nicholas, and I walked together. We did 2.35, I think it was 2.35 miles. It was a good walk. We had a good time. Anyway, um, I think the last time I talked to you was when we were at the winery. We went to the liquor store. We got some vodka, not the kind of that I was hoping to get, the, the brand that I was hoping vodka. to get. But we got, John picked up something from New Zealand. I forget the name of it, but he picked up a vodka from New Zealand that we're going to give a try. So we're going to give that a try. He got, also got um, some Smirnoff, just some regular old Smirnoff. So anyway, we got a couple of bottles of vodka. Uh, he got his case of wine and then we came home and we ate some dinner. We had burgers for dinner um, and then we went for a walk. And then Neil's girlfriend came over. I just finished editing Monday's Epic Beauty Fill video, which is processing now. And it's 9.23 and I'm exhausted and I wanna to go to sleep. I think what I'm gonna do, this is supposed to take a half an hour to process. I think I'm gonna go do like my nighttime routine, wash my face, brush my teeth, all that wonderful good stuff. And kind of get ready for bed. And then um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to edit yesterday's vlog. It depends on what time this, well, this is going to get done about 10 o'clock. So I probably won't edit yesterday's vlog until tomorrow. The other thing that I did is I went in our stand up freezer and I cleaned out all of the vegan food because we had vegan food that I haven't, that's been in there. So and the reason it was in there is because I feel so guilty that we had to throw it out because I had bought all that stuff, but I had had all that stuff planning to eat it and- We didn't beat it. Yeah, we didn't eat it. Why are you wearing a long sleeve shirt and long pants tomorrow? It's supposed to be 70 degrees. Because I'm a man. Because you're a man. Because survival. If I were you, survival I'd be wearing pants. short sleeve shirt at the minimum. You can wear the long pants, but I'd still put a short sleeve t-shirt on. Anyway. Should I put a short sleeve shirt over it? I would tell you to put your pants on. Nick's getting dressed right now, by the way. Put your pants on and then go change your shirt into a t-shirt. Put your long sleeve shirt back in your drawer and put a t-shirt on with short sleeves. That's just my opinion. Anyway, we had bought a bunch of vegan stuff because I was eating vegan, right? Um, I was eating we vegetarian were vegan. A vegan thing and yes. Now we just quit it. Yes. Before I got diagnosed as type two diabetic, I was eating vegan food, and. <clears throat> Then I got diagnosed as di Actually, it's been two years almost. It's actually been two years, I think. It's been two years. I was diagnosed in April or May of 2018. So that food has been sitting in the freezer for two years. Yep. So <clears throat> I had to clean it out because John and his sisters went in together and bought a cow from a local butcher. And the one sister bought half the cow and then John and the other sister split the other half. So John and his one sister got each got a quarter cow, basically. The other sister got a half a cow. Um, so 
we we need somewhere to put this frozen meat and our freezers are kind of full so i had to suck it up and throw out two shells worth of frozen vegan food and i feel really guilty i feel really guilty about that anyway <clears throat> so i threw out a big box of vegan food frozen vegan food yeah babe go change into a t-shirt i don't want you to be too hot tomorrow anyway we're gonna get ground beef and steaks and maybe a couple of roasts um so john's picking it up tomorrow and we need to get the food out of the freezer tonight well or at or tomorrow whichever we need to get it out of the freezer so that we can put the the beef in it so my hope is that we have enough space for a quarter cow. That's my hope. Oh, my loose skin. That's what I get for being overweight for so long. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna go do my nighttime routine. I don't know if I'm gonna do a foundation review tomorrow or not. I did do the one today, obviously. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do one tomorrow or not. We'll see. Um, depends on what time I get up. I'm tired. <clears throat> I did a lot of exercise today, actually. Um, I think I got around 9,000 steps. So some people get 10,000 steps a day. I don't ever get that many steps. Um, I am sitting at, let's see if it has to up the update. It says 9,400 right now, 9,453. It's quite possible that I will hit 10,000 before the evening's over, but it's not not overly likely, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, 2.3 miles is what I walked. Well, it looks like it might have lost a little chunk because... Oh, no, wait, that's right. Uh, nope, that's yep, 2.3 miles. Um... I active calories burned 741 resting calories 2011 so 2700 calories today 2750 you would figure that I would be losing weight but alas I am not six hours and 52 minutes of sleep last night not a lot of sleep anywho that's gonna be it for today Today, I am extremely, extremely thankful we go, got to go on a road trip. It was, I can't tell you how much that helps me. I love to be in the car. I love to have, you know, feel the freedom of the open road, so to speak. And being able to drive just felt good. Um, it felt good. So, <sighs> anyway, that is the end of the day. I'm tired. My legs hurt. I need to get to the point that I can walk 2.3 miles and not be pain and not be in pain. I'll probably go for a walk tomorrow. Like I said, the going to get the beef tomorrow. I don't know that I'll do a foundation review. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see when I get there. Um, but I keep messing. I keep messing with uh, not on purpose, but like Wednesday is. Hold on. Wednesday is right here so like my cord here keeps touching her ear and then she keeps wiggling her ear so um anyway today I'm so thankful for the road trip um I'm repeating myself I know I am I am very very thankful for that 
because it helped a lot today. Anyway, tomorrow we're getting the beef and then going to, so the one sister and John are meeting at the butcher to get, um, to pick up the beef. And then John, I might go with him, I don't know if I will or not, or, or is gonna go right to his other sister's house because they split the half and they're gonna divvy up who gets what, you know what I mean? And just, you take this, I take this. Cause she likes to have pot roast kind of things and we're not particularly in love with pot roasts or anything like that. So we usually just eat steaks and like ground beef and like hamburgers is what we usually eat. Um, anyway, so they'll divvy it up and they'll be like, okay, here's half of everything and here's half of everything. Now, if I give you these steaks, can I have the pot roast kind of a thing? So they'll figure it out. I don't really care. Whatever. I don't care. Um, but what we're going to end up doing is doing that and then we'll bring it home, put the rest of it in the freezer, put the stuff that's ours in the freezer. And then I think we're going to run to the grocery store and just pick up a couple things. Like I need salad for the week. I need, we need some heavy whipping cream. I just opened my last jar of peanut butter. So I'd like to get a couple of things of peanut butter. Um, Nicholas needs both hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Neil finished off the bread. Um, there's just a couple things. We're almost out of eggs, believe it or not. We're almost out of eggs. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. There, I have a list out there. Lily's chocolate chips. <laughs> That's on the list. Um, and yogurt is on the list. So I think there's like maybe... 10 things 12 things at most on the list so but yeah we're gonna get the beef and then we're gonna go to the store and get a couple of other things and yes that'll be it that's it for tonight i still have 23 minutes left on my video to process so i'm gonna go wash my face brush my teeth do my nighttime routine all that wonderful thing and i will see you guys tomorrow I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.